Evening folks, welcome back. Sorry it's been a little while since I've done one of these, but uh, busy, busy, busy. Um, so it's getting to that time of year now where we're um, looking to start fishing a bit deeper for fish. And one of the food items that's very much going to be on the menu uh, for the next four or five months at most lakes and reservoirs is going to be a bloodworm. So I'm going to do a couple of bloodworm patterns for you, um, two that I like to use myself. Um, the first one being the uh, the very well known apps or flexi floss worm, whatever you want to call it. So uh, we're going to tie this up with a little bit of bling in it as well. Um, right, hook is a Fasna um, F310, marvelous size 10, and uh, the thread I'm going to be using is a uh, globe right number five. Uh, so let's just get started with this. Let's just get that thread on. Get started on the hook. So. Lovely. I use a lot of these for this. I do like that for the winter. I do like these patterns. So uh, flexi floss, as the name would suggest, we're going to be using red flexi floss. Okay. Just taking one strand of that, and I'm just doubling it over. Go in the middle, roughly the middle. I'm going to trim it down here. It doesn't really matter. You can leave them to full length. It's completely up to you, but I prefer to trim these down. So. Um, just somewhere around about the middle there, I'm going to offer it up and just catch in just behind the head there. And just give it a little stretch as you work it down, just to keep that profile nice and slim. It really is such an easy fly to tie this. Okay, so the body itself is again going to be another piece of flexi floss material in red. I'm actually going to go back up here and catch it in just behind the head just to keep the profile the same. Just up there. And that's in. And at this stage, as I said, this was going to have a little bit of bling to it. Something a little bit different. I want it to shine up a little bit in the water. I'm going to catch in a little bit of mylar just behind the head there. And this is going to act as a little underbody. Okay. It's just going to help this flexi floss shine through. It's going to catch a bit of light. It's going to shine through. I like the very way I tie these, um, whether they make a difference or not. I don't know. They look pretty cool. So and then when the apps blood worm, great fly under the bung as we all know. Fish static as a point fly under the bung. Fish in a team of them. Um, also very good fish as a point fly on a standard, um, standard cast. But excellent twiddle as well. I think a lot of people don't uh, realise just how good these are um, when you can twiddle them on a slow glass or a fast glass or a floater. Just let them come around the wind. They've got so many applications. It's all these little legs and everything moving about. And the fish absolutely go wild for them. So with the uni milo, I'm just going to wrap that back up the body just to create an underbody. All I want this to do is just to, this is going to shine through um, when we overwrap it with the... Uh, the red flexi floss when we rib it. And uh, it certainly shines through after a couple of coats of varnish. Just catch it in up there. Like so, and just trim it off. Lovely. Okay, and then we're going to bring that flexi floss up, and we're just going to create ourselves a body. Just going to create a sort of ribbing over the top. And I don't want this too tight because I want this rib to be. Pronounced. I'm going to put a few coats of varnish on this, so if it's too tight, you won't get that lovely pronounced rib. So, and we're just leaving it, it's not touching turns, just a little bit of a gap in between these as we're coming all the way up. It's lovely. Your flexi floss gets caught around your bobbin, of course. Beautiful. One in there, one more maybe. Let's just call it a day. And we're just going to catch that in now. Just behind the head. A few more wraps. I do like to catch this in properly because what's going to happen is when I cut it off and stretch it, I don't want it all pulled for the pieces. So just before we trim everything off, I'm just going to bring this thread up in front of the eye. Like that. And I'm going to finish off just in front of these two legs here just helps kick the legs out a little bit lovely pull that tight and then we go beautiful okay Draw thread 
trim off the excess there just give it a little stretch before you trim it off like that and then you're just going to open these up as well so you've got the legs there working at both ends so say so you can leave them as long as you like or you can leave them as short as you like but that little but that there that's going to give it a bit better exposure put my hand behind there you'll see how that shines through how that underbody shines through it's just a something a little bit different i like to play around with and on top of that i will give this three coats of hard as nails eventually three coats so i like this to be pretty bomb proof the trap really do chew on these also gives it a little bit of weight helps it get down in the cast you can of course tie these with a bead on them um, i've done that in a previous video with a pink version of these um, i like to use these on but with a bead with a silver silver bead onto them and just give it a nice coat of hard as nails let it dry and then give it, uh, two more coats but you can really start to see that starting to shine through there again i'll just put that there so the exposure on the camera picks up on that it's a lovely little pattern as i say great on the um underneath the bung but i do like to twiddle these and you can move them quite fast as well these legs offer so much attraction they kick and they fasten they do everything they're meant to be doing so uh yeah, nice quick tie very easy to do that's the uh flexi blood worm or apps blood worm whatever you want to call it you could tie with a few more legs in it it's up to you i like it like this uh, thanks for watching as always um, please click like and click subscribe and um, keep watching I should put up another one of my favorite blood patterns uh, pretty shortly thanks very much good night